Good afternoon. This is the 28th of September. This is Bella's herd of standard schnauzer puppies. These guys are ordinary as all get out. Uh, they're not quite six weeks old yet. And there is on the website, if you visit the website, it will give you a birthday chart. There are still three puppies available. And I forgot to put a collar back on the boy. Um, there's two girls and a male still available. The rest of these guys are sold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of them and give you their current weights, uh, collar colors, and microchip numbers. And uh, we'll do the ones that are not sold first. So this is the salt and pepper male that does not want to give up the toy. And he has a blue collar on. He will wear this collar till the day he goes home. 6415 is his microchip number, and you can see under here where he's turning salt and pepper. And he's got a, a like a light blue turquoisey color collar. Oh, don't chew my fingers. And he is five pounds, six point five ounces today. So he is right in line where he should be for a, to be a standard schnauzer size. These guys are all doing super good. Um, really nice coats, really nice um, body fat, as I should say. They're doing a really good job. Bella's doing a good job nursing. Uh, the other one in here that's still available, this is a salt and pepper female. She is 6417 is her microchip number, and she's got, you can see the salt and pepper coming. The black streak up their back is the last thing that will turn color. So she's got a neon green collar. She'll wear that till she goes home, and again, it last four are 6417. So let's see what she weighs today, if she'll hold still long enough. She has five pounds, stop, 4.5 ounces. I think she might go five ounces, but she's close. I know they took the toys. They took the toys. There are pictures of them clear back to when they were babies on the website. Uh, so if you go to the link on the left of our um, website, and if you're seeing this on YouTube, our website is listed below. And go to the link that says Standard Schnauzers and Miniature Schnauzers for sale, and you'll find them. Uh, the next one that I hear that's still available, oh, come here, Tubbo, is the neon pink collared female. And she is 6411 is her microchip. She's got a neon pink collar, and everybody's chewing on her feet. You might be the heaviest one out here. What do you think? I think you might be. You're pretty chunky. She is six pounds. Yep, you are the biggest. Six pounds. Nope, stay just one sec. Stay one sec. Six pounds. And now you can't get you to hold still. Stop. Stay. Six pounds, 0 0.5 ounces. So she is just a hair over six pounds. She is going to be a big girl. Huh, are you a big girl? Yes, yeah, you're brat, baby. All right. Let's see. So that takes care of the three that are still available. Um, let's go. This is the male. I gave him a haircut this morning and I forgot to put his blue collar back on. This puppy is sold. And he will have his royal blue collar on the next time you see him. 6427 is microchip. And let's see what he weighs today. He is four pounds, no, five pounds right on, right on the button. So he's five pounds on the button as of today. Huh. And we gave him a really short haircut, so this would last a little bit. So about a week, your razor mark will go away, huh? All right, let me hold you up here and let your mom and dad see your face. Since I've got a goofy looking face this way. Don't lick my shoes. All right, and uh, just for the heck of it, the last ones in here are, come here, uh, the black female. Oh, come over here. I know you got a toy in your mouth. That doesn't count. Yep, that doesn't count. That doesn't help weights any. Where's my, who's got my microchipper? Give me my microchipper. Okay, we are at 6416 is her microchip number. And she is sold. I forgot to put that. So she's got a neon collar on, and I will give her a haircut this week. I forgot to do that this morning when I was doing haircuts. Oh, I see you, roly poly. You're just so bad. All right, so she is 
ouch. Four pounds, 15 ounces as of today. And let's see if we can get you to hold up here and let me see your face. She says, I look goofy when I stick my head up in like that. All right, so just for fun, the Merles are staying here. And uh, we gave them a haircut this morning because I wanted to see the color pop. And boy, does the color pop when you give them a haircut. This is a female. And she is four pounds, five, four pounds, 4.5 ounces. And this is the, ouch. <laughs> Standard smells are puppies when their babies are like piranha. And I mean, yes, you bite hard, you little pistol. Yes, you're bad. I know you've been here and done this. Let's see what he weighs. Four pounds. Stop. Stop. Ten ounces, right on the butt. And the last one in here is, is the bigger female. This is the other Merle. And while well, everybody's gone, let's wait. Oh, you're not going to be fun to weigh. You are five pounds. Stop. Vanessa was carrying our laundry baskets back to the kennel and that's how we got them up here. Uh, we brought them out in the yard today. We thought it would be fun for them to play. Um, but these guys are doing super good. They're just about ready to get their six week shot. That's coming up. They've already had their first two wormings. They'll get their third worming um, probably the day after their shot. I don't like to do their shots and then their wormings close together. But they have done really well. They've already learned how to use a doggy door. Uh, they have a 20 foot run that's on concrete behind the building that they can go out on. So they're in and out the door. Uh, they're shredding their newspaper. They're doing all the lovely things that ornery puppies do. But that's good because they're maturing right where they should. Um, these guys, have, this has been an awesome litter. This is Bella's last litter. Um, she is retiring. She will no longer be here. We are keeping the Merles to go ahead and advance our breeding program. Um, what we hope to eventually do is have a really nice large line of standard Schnauzers that are Merle colored. Um, no, it's not a normal color for the standards, but what we did was we introduced a about a 20 pound Merle Schnauzer. Uh, we bred her to a bred him to a standard schnauzer and then we kept Bella and then this time we bred Bella back to our big black standard schnauzer male and uh, we have a new male coming and a new female coming that we are probably going to use on these guys when they're all old enough but uh, we're really excited about it I uh, it's never been a hidden fact that Merle's are my favorite color I like unusual colors and I like something that uh, is a little different than everybody else has. So the Merles are, are kind of my thing when it comes to this. And we've been working on this project for about three years. So we're excited to see it go to another generation and advance a little bit farther. So if you have any questions on these guys, you are more than welcome to give us a call. And like I said, we have two females and a male left. Um, all of them are salt and pepper. And we will have new pictures next week on the website and a video, but this week we are not doing photos as we have a church dinner here on Saturday for everyone in our Sunday school class. So I have to cook and clean and do all the normal things that everybody does before they have a big party at their house. So uh, that's my job this week is to get the house ready and the fire pit ready and everything ready for a cookout and uh, bonfire. So hope you enjoyed their pictures uh, or their video this week. They have been really, really busy. They're doing super good. Um, Bella is actually, she hides from him because <laughs> you can imagine these guys trying to nurse. Uh, we actually started them on about a quart uh, to a, almost a half gallon of goat milk a day to kind of give Bella a break. So they're getting fresh goat milk that we get here local on a, uh, a farm that has goats and milks and sells the goat milk. 
so it's really made them fat it's made them nice and healthy and uh, they're doing just super good starting to eat dog food they're on dry dog food I do not feed mushy dog food so they're already eating dry dog food and if you have any questions at all about these guys please feel free to give me a call or shoot me a text and I'll be glad to get back to you with any information I can so have a great weekend and a safe one and we'll have more pictures and videos for you next week